This is a Maruti Desire EV. This car is so quiet, you can whiz past slow moving traffic without them realizing that you're there. And the price of this conversion is... Meet India's cleanest and greenest Maruti Swift Desire. And what makes this one so special is that it's powered by an electric powertrain. Now telling me all about that car is Hemank from Northway Motors. Hi Hemank, welcome to the show. When it comes to building an electric vehicle, we've got a lot more items than just the motor and the controller. Uh, we've, we've got an integrated battery pack with a battery management system. It need, needs its own cooling system. You also need uh, CAN communication to talk to the vehicle's ECU, to display everything on the instrument cluster, to use all the original controls and buttons um, for charging to work. So all in all, it's, it's quite a complicated system. It's not as simple as buying a, a motor controller and a battery off the shelf and fitting it into a car. Okay, so what are the structural changes that have been done to the Swift Desire in order to accommodate the electric part in and the components? We start from scratch, which includes a, a scan of the vehicle, a 3D scan of the vehicle, followed by designing, simulations, prototyping, uh, internal testing, government testing, and then certification. So this entire procedure includes development of a custom powertrain specific to the vehicle, which is exactly why electric kits can't be universal. We'd like to integrate everything onto the chassis without modification using what's available on the vehicle. Maybe there might be a few additional fitments using the original mounts on the vehicle, but there are no modifications done as such. The suspension is stock, the brakes are stock, the engine mounting is stock, the fuel tank mountings are used for the battery pack mounting and so on and so forth. Okay, great Hemank. Now I'm really excited to drive this one. Can I have the keys please? Thank you. Before getting into the driver's seat, let me brief you of what this desire is all about. It looks pretty inconspicuous from outside, but its green registration plates give away its credentials. Originally powered by petrol, this desire is now fitted with an electric motor that develops 60 horsepower and 170 Nm of torque, drawing energy from a 25.6 kWh battery pack. What's interesting is that the motor rests on stock engine mounts and the battery pack in a split setup format is nestled in the locations of the fuel tank and beneath the boot floor in place of the spare tyre. Since the battery pack isn't placed beneath the cabin floor like in other EVs, neither is ground clearance altered nor has comfort for rear passengers changed. The floor height remains the same. We've always loved the Maruti Suzuki Desire's 1.2-litre petrol engine for its smoothness and refinement. But the car that we are driving here today takes smoothness and refinement to the next level. This car is so quiet, you can whiz past slow-moving traffic without them realizing that you're there. This motor is quite zippy and you can close in those gaps in traffic without breaking a sweat. What's unique about this Desire EV conversion is that it's mated to a manual gearbox. Yes, you heard that right. It's an EV mated to a 5-speed manual gearbox that you find in a standard Desire. So how do you start off from a standstill? Well, if you put it in first gear and you floor it, you're gonna get a lot of wheel spin and as a result, Northway Motorsport recommend you starting off in second gear where torque is quite well controlled in comparison. It will even creep forward in a gear without any accelerator input when you release the clutch pedal. Having an idling RPM helps first-time EV drivers to quickly adapt to this manual EV. Electric motors generate max torque right from the get-go. And as a result, I can take off in fourth gear from a standstill on a slight incline without any fuss. While you can start off in any gear without stalling, it is important to be in the lower gears in the interest of battery efficiency. 
so you might question the need of a gearbox in the first place. And to answer your question, yes, even cars like the Nexon EV and the MG ZS EV have a gearbox, but that is a single speed transmission. So you have a fine balance between acceleration and top speed. In this car, you have the flexibility of choosing greater acceleration by being in a lower gear or a higher top speed by being in a higher gear. And if you're cruising at a steady 80 or 100, you will get greater efficiency in the fourth or fifth gear. To understand the gearbox behavior better, here are its in-gear rolling acceleration numbers from 10 to 70 kph in second, third and fourth gear which take 5.03, 5.36 and 6.5 seconds respectively. You can drive this car like an automatic, you can be in second or you can be in third all day every day and you don't even need to change gears. But you can change gears and you can make your drive a lot more efficient and a lot more enjoyable and a lot more connected by using the manual gearbox. Once you're acquainted with this motor and gearbox combination, you will be able to extract the best out of it. But fitting a manual in an EV comes with challenges of its own, such as mechanical losses and unwarranted additional weight. However, in this particular case, despite its shortcomings, the economics work in favor of a manual gearbox, since the base car is already fitted with one. Engineering an all-new transmission for this motor would further inflate the cost of this kit. Just like a standard electric vehicle, this car is also equipped with regenerative braking. So every time you lift your leg off the accelerator pedal, this car will slow down on its own and convert that kinetic energy into electrical energy in the process. What's nice is that the process of regen feels very natural, just like engine braking in a standard ICE vehicle. Northway Motorsport claimed that on a full charge, this iteration can achieve 240 km of range in ideal conditions and its battery can be fully charged in around 8 hours using a standard 15 amp home charger. However, we haven't managed to put it through our tests as yet. Other aspects like ride, handling, braking, steering, these feel identical to the regular petrol vehicle as these haven't been changed at all. The weight of the car after the conversion is about 10% higher than the internal combustion engine vehicle, which is well within the permissible limits for certification. And even the additional mass on each axle is evenly distributed, so it feels near identical to the standard car from behind the wheel. If you're impressed by this EV conversion, I'm sure you're eagerly waiting to know how much it costs. Pune-based Northway Motorsport offers 5 retro kits for the Maruti Desire, which vary in performance and are available at a cost ranging between Rs 6 and Rs 8 lakh, excluding the cost of the vehicle. While the kits will be open to all, its sticker price doesn't make it viable for private car buyers. Fleet owners are the ones who will find value in this EV conversion. You see the initial investment can be recouped quite quickly with a running cost of as low as 1 to 1.5 rupee per kilometer, especially for the ones who are covering higher number of kilometers every single year. Monetary benefits such as engine buybacks, government subsidies and GST benefits are being reviewed to make these conversion kits financially more attractive. Moreover, with six new launches scheduled over the course of 2022, there are some exciting EV conversions from Northway Motorsport to look forward to, so stay tuned.